Welcome back to another video. Today's a special video because I'll be collaborating with Katina Eats and the infamous Randy Santel. So today's challenge is going to be a new food challenge down in Miami. The restaurant is called The Fish House and they're offering an insane ultimate crawfish challenge. Now, I said this in the previous video, I've never had crawfish. I'm hoping that it's not like eating crab legs. I watch a few videos on it. They kind of just break it open and suck out the insides. So it doesn't look as complicated as breaking crab legs or as tedious as breaking crab legs because I hate eating crab legs because it's so hard and tedious. So the restaurant is about an hour away from my house. So we have a long journey. I'm gonna leave here about an hour and a half earlier just to be on time. But with all that said, let's go ahead and uh, meet up with Randy Santel and Katina Eats. All right, so just wanna chirp in here really quickly and I'm not going to include the live crawfish being boiled because that might be a little sensitive to some of you guys. So right from this clip, we're just gonna jump into the challenge. Some of you guys might have weak stomachs, so I didn't want to include that part, but back to the video. Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel. And Nathan Figueroa. Atlas, and I am very, very excited tonight because I am back again. It's been a while since I've done a collaboration with my friend Nathan Figueroa, but I'm even more excited because I am back in the great city of Miami, Florida. We've got lots of people here, which is much appreciated. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump in here really quickly because I did not want to steal Randy Santel's legendary intro. However, he did say I can use it. But for this video, as you guys know, we are in Miami at the Fish House, taking on their ultimate crawfish challenge, which contains over five pounds of fresh crawfish, a pound of corn and potatoes, and a pound of sausage, along with the cake that I had never had. I guess it's a Mardi Gras special. And I guess I should say the Fish House was having a Mardi Gras celebration, which made it a fun event. We have one hour to complete it, and I'll let you guys know how we did. Okay, are you ready, Nathan? I'm ready. All right, let's get this challenge started. Woo. My hope is that he uses that uh, house explosion on Boom. All right, this challenge is gonna be wild. This is so much crawfish, and we're both pretty much rookies with peeling this stuff, yeah. but it's gonna be fun. Are you excited? I'm excited. Let's All go. right, let's get overall win number 934. Great to be back in Miami. Big thanks to everybody here at the Fish House Miami for having us in to help do this challenge and kick it off. But let's shut up and eat. One, two, three, boom. All right, start off with some sausage. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. It's a nice spice to this. It's spicy, yeah, this mm -hmm. crawfish is spicy too. But it's a nice spice. All right, the first couple are gonna be rough and then we're gonna dominate. Oh yeah, already skilled. Okay. Here it goes. Yep. When you take this top one off. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, shoot, it just exploded on me. Like I said, the first couple are gonna be rough and then we're gonna dominate. This is my first time eating crawfish. As long as I do better with this than shrimp. Cause I suck at shrimp. Well, probably. Am I doing it right now? I'm pinching the tail. Bite it off, yeah. <clears throat> bite it off. That was some of the best sausage that I've ever had. 
<laughs> That's what she said. My mouth is on fire. My lips are tingling. I'm eating a lot of shell trying to keep up with Nathan. I, I just ha haven't figured out exactly how to get all the meat in there. I've been sucking the head. That's what she said. Or he said. I'm well practiced with that by Good now. To know. All right, so just popping in here really quickly. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far, but just wanted to comment on the food. So for the crawfish, it had a really nice spice to it. The cook actually warned us about it and asked if it was going to be too spicy. Uh, we tested it and I thought it was okay, but when you're consuming five pounds of crawfish, the spice kind of starts to build up and it starts numbing your lips. I think about a quarter of the way through, my lips were just tingling and then later on, um, it starts to dissipate. But the sausage I commented on earlier, it was some of the best sausage that I've had. The sausage had a nice flavor to it, almost Cajun-y if that's a word. But I just wanted to thank Randy for inviting me on this crawfish challenge. It's always a blast doing challenges with him and I will be doing one or two more challenges here in the next week. We're definitely booked for a tomahawk steak challenge which I've never had and I'm super excited about on Saturday in Miami and he's posted it on his social media. So if you guys are in the Miami area, come say hi. I know Randy will have a lot of supporters there but I'll let you guys continue watching the video. Just wanted to pop in here really quickly and say hi, okay. Bye. That one squirted pretty good. Did it squirt at you? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. Oh, yours? I, I squirted, oh, yeah. Okay. Did you squirt? Stop it. That's what Some people said. need to grow up. All right, guys, we are 26 minutes in. It just won't go away. I think Keeps regenerating. I think Randy is just a tad bit ahead of me. So I gotta go Goku mode. I haven't beat Nathan in a food challenge in a long time, so yeah, if I do I today, I'll be happy. I think you beat me last time, right? Oh, I did, yeah. yeah, yeah. We did not intend to finish together, but I think it's going to end that way. I'm trying to speed up. Stop it. Get your mind out of the gutter. He's got more stuff in his, uh, well actually no, he, he actually might be beating. Last one. Woo! Boom. I literally have one more. Oh. This one right here. And like I said, we don't know. There might be a baby or two in one of these pieces of cake. All right. Nathan has done two. With a few Delicious. injuries. Delicious. Yes. Well, I got a few He's injuries. bleeding in a few spots. Really quickly, what is the cake? It's a pastry for Mardi Gras. It's I don't know what else is there to it. It's just delicious Mardi Gras oh, color. It's it's lighter than that. And oh, it's cinnamon. fresh. Yeah, it's cinnamon. There's they cinnamon on the inside, cinnamon sugar. So apparently there might be a baby in here. It might be. Might be. And if there we don't is know. if there is a baby. That's lucky, right? Yeah, it's lucky. It's okay. It's gonna be a great year for you. I'm really confused with the baby All thing, right. but cheers. cheers. <laughs> That is so good. Oh, it's fantastic. Mm hmm The cinnamon? Mm hmm I'm a huge fan of cinnamon. I gotta be very careful with this. I don't, oh. <laughs> I don't think either of us has a baby.
Cheers. So we can both say we won together. Not one faster than the other. Ah. We both finished right at 50 minutes and 59 seconds. That was so amazing. Mr. Nathan, what'd you think? Uh, it was good. I have a few injuries on my hand. Might be bleeding. We'll get him some band-aids after this. All right, guys, so that was the ultimate crawfish challenge with the man, Randy Sintel. Just Always great to eat with Nathan. Yes, uh, super shout out to him for inviting me on this. We have another challenge coming up here Saturday. We're Possibly two coming up. I'm trying to get okay, him to do yeah, a yeah. pizza challenge with me. So I might be doing a pizza challenge as well, but first time eating crawfish was a good time. He did a great job. Thank you. Um, thank you to the Fish House here in Miami. Much appreciated and yeah. And Thanks. he got to meet uh, Katina for the first time too. Yes, so. Katina's right here. She's Hey everybody. Katina's doing the dirty work for Andy. Food ninjas! Yeah. Food ninjas, yeah. Give me 20 pack pipe pal. So uh, how do you how do I sign out? Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. K peace out. Bye. <laughs>